Welcome back to the Star Game Studios Unreal Engine 5 RPG tutorial series. We have a great one today. We are beginning a sub-series to create a modular damage system that can be used for any character in the game. This will include the player and enemy characters. We will use interfaces, structures, variable types, and enums. So, put on your thinking caps. There is much to take in. Let's get into the world of Unreal Modular Game Design. Let's begin by making a new folder for the damage system. In the folder, create an interface blueprint. The first function will be to get the current health. It will have an output of health of type float. Make another function for the max health. This will have an output of max health. We need a healing function. It will contain an input of the healing amount and an output of new health. The last function will be take damage. Since we need many variables for this, we will create a structure. Create a new structure named S damage details. A structure is a collection of variables that can be referenced as a single variable. Create a variable damage amount of type float. Next, create a variable damage type. There will be many types of damage, so we will make an enum for this named E damage type. An enum defines a set of names or types for a variable. The first enumerator should be none. It's always a good idea to have this as the first enum. Next, we need melee. Make an enum named projectile. We can have one for explosion. Make one for environmental as well. This can be for things like fire or lightning. In the damage detail structure, set the damage type to E underscore damage type. Create a variable damage response. This will be for the types of animations used in response to the damage received. We need to make an enum for this as well. Name this E damage response. The first enumerator should be none. Add an enum for hit reaction. How about knockback? We could use one for stagger. Make an enum named stun. In the structure blueprint, set the damage response type to the enum damage response. Create a variable invincible damage enabled. This is of type boolean. This variable is for when the player cannot be hit because of dodge ability or something similar. Create a variable can be blocked. Next we need can be parried. We need one for interrupting an attack. In the damageable interface, the take damage function should now accept an input damage details. 
This will be of type S damage details, the struct we just made. Create a boolean output named was damaged. We want to know if the damage was applied. Now that the interface is complete, we can apply it to our game's characters. We will do that in the next episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this valuable and enjoyable. Please like and subscribe to see more upcoming videos in this series, as well as other useful content. The game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted. Stay humble. Now wake up. It's time to look at the enemy.